Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back. This is Uma Shankar. In this session, we are going to learn how to migrate the Oracle Fusion BIP reports from one environment to other environment. And also we can see the OIC integration approach to uh, download the files from source system and we can upload to the target system. During the implementation and supporting project, we have to migrate reports from one environment to other environment, like it starts from the uh, development and then test and production environment. If you go with the manual process, we have to uh, follow the uh, approach like you can uh, archive and unarchive method in the folder, right? So this is a completely a manual process. To aware this, you can go for any CI/CD implementation tool. Uh, you can use the Oracle VB Studio, or you can go for any third-party uh, tool uh, as per your customer requirement. Right? So in this session, we are going to cover how to uh, how to uh, build this approach. Let's go with the outline of uh, this demonstration. So we will go through the uh, understand the source and target systems. And we can take uh, uh, be a, a backup for your reports. Okay. We can export the reports from uh, from the source environment to target. Okay, and uh, also we can see the uh, what are the soap services are available in order to uh, download and upload uh, upload the files from the uh, BAP uh, custom folder or any other folder. Right. So these are the two services which we are going to use. Okay, the first one is the uh, BA Publisher Catalog service. Okay. So basically, it will end with the uh, wisdom by using the service. We are going to uh, download the files and upload the files, and we have a lot of other operations also. Okay, and also one more service is uh, security service. By using the security service, uh, you can uh, log into the application, and once the process is completed, you can log out. Okay. So why we are doing this uh, download and upload process? You need to understand the what are the various format uh, formats we are supporting as a part of this migration, right? So for uh, if you are going with the BIP report, that means template uh, you are migrating, then uh, the extension will be .xdoz. For example, if you are specifically migrating a data model, then you can give the .xdmz. Okay. For other like uh, prompts, analysis, and dashboard, you can go with the .catalog. Okay, these are the file format ex extension that you are going to pass. Okay, so steps to migrate this process. So first, we have to download the object. Then uh, once you download the object, then you will get a base sixty four format. And as you can use, it, you, you you are using that format, you can upload the object. Okay, so let's go to the SOAP UI. Uh, we will test the service, and then we can go uh, go to the OS integration approach. As you can see, I have created a data model under custom folder. We can consider this location as a source and target system, right? But we are going to create a uh, same data model with a different name. Okay? Let me go to the uh, SOAP UI. Okay? This is the catalog service that we are going to use. Okay? So here you can see the different operations. I am going for the download uh, operation. Okay? Download operation. So if you see this right here, you can give okay your uh, report absolute path. And that means where your actual uh, report is located. Okay, this is my uh, report location, custom dot usr. So my data model name I mentioned here. The extension will be dot xdm because it is a data model, and I, I have given user id and password. Okay, let me trigger this. So it's completed. We got uh, 200 okay. Okay, now it generates the base 64 encoded format. Right. Let me copy the format. Okay, once you copy the format, now we are going to upload the uh, this uh, content to the uh, target location. All right, so you have to go to the upload object, go here. Right here, I am going to change the your GP data. I am going to replace with the okay this content, base sixty four content, control V. Okay. So I am going to give uh, object type is the XDMZ. Okay, this uh, this is a uh, data model, and also here you can mention your absolute path. So what is the exact uh, uh, data model name that you are going to create? All right. So what I am going to do? 
test uh, demo uh, report okay okay now let me trigger it see 200 okay it's completed it's created let's go to the application let me refresh it continue as you can see see test demo report okay so we consider as a tar as a, uh, this location as the same uh, target location so the uh, report is created all right but when it's come to real time so instead of uh, you can download from the development environment and you can move to the test and production environment i have created a simple integration to download the file from the source and move to the target system okay so i have created a connection for the catalog service with no security option okay let me uh, go through this integration it's a simple straight forward okay uh, just uh, uh, i have created trigger connection so for this trigger con connection i am uh, passing three parameters okay if you go here you have a source uh, report path uh, where you are downloading the file and a target report path where you are moving the file right and also your object type it is a data model catalog right uh, it's a report right what kind of object type you have that you are going to migrate okay for demonstration purpose i have assigned the uh, username and uh, password but when it's come to real time you can populate from the oci vault configuration okay some other way okay uh, this is the download service okay the just we are selecting the uh, soap service right okay this this is the download object request service this is the operation that we are going to select and similarly we are uploading this okay it's a simple uh, integration uh, let me uh, run this uh, integration run okay go to the body so same uh, report i am going to uh, move it okay so this is the source file so here i am going to give uh, some i am going to change the name this is general, okay okay usr general balance report something okay report underscore data model okay so object uh, object type it's a data model right i am just keeping as the xdmz okay just run it See, the process is completed okay now let's uh, go to the application so let me uh, refresh this page see now you can see that usr jl uh, balance report data model the same new report is created okay so this is the way how we are going to uh, use that migration approach okay but uh, when you are submitting the integration so you have to give the proper object type okay i hope you understood this session uh, if you like this video please subscribe and share you can provide your valuable feedback thanks a lot